today my buddy Landon and I are loading up our gear heading out to Buck Creek to go white bass fishing. The big female white bass are starting to work their way up into the creek and they're starting to run real good so it should be a good time and we should be able to catch tons of fish so we're ready to get on out there and hopefully catch our limit of white bass. Is that flooded right there? Yeah. Jeez, that's never flooded. Is there anybody there? Oh, what in the world? He's in the freaking best spot right there. Okay, let's just set our stuff here for now. So you're just gonna cast on over. And you're just gonna slowly jerk like this and just slowly reel as you go. There's a creek channel down in the center. So there's a little deep hole. You hit it right by the bank. You mean you don't want that monster? <laughs> yeah, especially at first. When it gets later, like farther towards the end of the night, if you don't have many, I can see it, but... That looks like the same freaking fish. Looks like? That's one thing I hate about these fish, is how much they squirm. Yeah. Dude, if you just don't squirm, you'll get back a lot quicker. Throw back? Yeah, throw back. That was, that was a little, maybe a little bit. I do mine real slow. I know people that'll, they'll run it. There's a better one. Keeper. Yeah, not a huge one, but at least a better one. You got one? It's fighting pretty good, isn't it? <laughs> so we got two. There used to be no limit on them. I'm moving our stuff down a little bit. This is slow so far. But until they're fully running, they'll come through in like waves. Right. There we go. There we go. Oh, there was a big hole right there. I just got two nice ones. Yeah. There's one. small compared to the other two that I got it? yeah if worse comes to worse we can always go up to my truck and grab it there's another another decent one sorry You're good. <laughs> I didn't know how I was hitting you with that Come on. And here, stand right there where I was. Stand right there where I was. And I'll go down where you were. Yeah, all mine were right here. Right in front of them. Like right down here. I'll trade you baits here in a minute. You're right there, though. I don't think that is. Yep. Eh, too small. Oh, there we go. There's a nice one. 
dude you better not start wiggling this thing makes me hook myself i'm gonna be mad that's why mine's oh yeah oh. <laughs> my bad yeah, that's nice this is what i was looking for but i couldn't find them today all right so did you see that thing come up dude that was a monster i saw him just keep on casting you'll get him again that was probably the one that came up and swirled on mine because he swirled and went this way you gotta let him pull drag especially with these treble hooks they kind of have light mouths anyways have fun with it and just let them kind of pull There's a decent one. There we go. There we go. What do you think? Keeper or no? I'd say no. I'm working mine super slow whenever I'm getting hit. Yeah. All right, we'll move down a little bit. Oh, you're hung up on the line. Uh, I don't know how that's gonna work. Well, should we run up and grab your underspin or there's a little tackle shop right down the road? Yeah, we can run down there and see what's there. All right, let's go up there and we'll go down to the tackle shop, see what all they got. Well, Landon ended up losing the last one of the good baits. So we are about to run to the local little tackle store see what all they got and depending on what all they got we'll kind of decide what we do the rest of the night well they didn't have any of those baits but we ended up grabbing some crappie stuff and now what we're going to do is we're going to head out to the local lake and we're just going to kind of bank fish for crappie and really whatever bites right now so we grab some little bobbers or floats whatever you want to call them and then some little jig heads and some little crappie plastics. So we're gonna head on out there, get fishing. Hopefully we'll get a few more fish out here. So we'll see you guys when we're out there on the water. Keep on getting hit. Oh, there's a hit. Dude, that one went straight underneath. There we go. It's black crappie. It's probably what, seven? Yeah. Cool little fish. I've only ever caught white crappie. Really? You got one? Oh, there we go. Bluegill. Hey, look at me. You got a bass. Smallmouth, baby. Is it really? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I had one black crappie, but it was about six inches, seven inches. What do you think? Three or four pounds? <sighs> Three or four pounds, yeah. <laughs> There's another one. There we go. <laughs> yeah, he's small. Figured out ask anyways. Well, at least you got a fish out here. Well, I just got home, figured I'd wrap this thing up. As you saw, as soon as we got done and we lost those baits, we went to the tackle store, didn't find anything that we could use for white bass. So instead, we picked up that stuff, we went out crappie fishing. We ended up getting a few crappie, nothing that we kept, but a few crappie, laying and caught a white bass, or a uh, smallmouth bass. And then I caught a bluegill too. So a few crappie, a bluegill, and a smallmouth bass. So there were a few fish there, but nothing really big or anything um, out of the ordinary. 
but still fun to get out there and kind of do some bank fishing. I've never done bank fishing like that at that lake, so that was kind of cool to get out there and do a little bank fish. Sorry, I just got interrupted. But anyways, nothing out of the ordinary. Still fun to go and fish that lake from the bank that we've never really done before. Hopefully you enjoyed this little bit of a bank fishing mission. If you did, smash thumbs up, subscribe if you aren't already, and we will see you in the next